This is the NBC3 News at 5, winner of the Emmy Award for Best Newscast. Welcome back as we begin now at 5. The first few years of life are filled with growth and development for children. It's a time when they explore and learn about themselves and the world around them. And exposing them to music can go a long way in helping them learn all kinds of important skills and fostering cognitive development as well. Tonight we explore the benefits of song as we focus on your family here in Central New York. Step inside the classroom of Miss Rebecca as the children know her and you will find a world filled with wonder. Little minds buzzing with excitement, soaking up the sounds and sights around them. Including 16-month-old Weston, who spends this time each week singing and dancing with his mother. It doesn't, like I said, always show in class, but it does show um, by him kicking his legs, clapping his hands, uh, both in the car, at home. And he does sing, he tries to sing. And there's no shortage of singing among this crowd of little ones. My five-month-old son Hudson and I joined the group to get a taste of the musical experience, and we were quickly moving to the beat. An 18-month-old Gray comes with his grandmother, who says it's helped him learn to socialize. He's very active, he's very social, it's really done a world of good for that. Round and round go the Leading the class is Rebecca Opedisano, the owner and director of Green Lakes Music Together, a program designed to nurture the musical growth of children. Love it. <laughs> My job is, the, is wonderful. I'm totally blessed to be able to sing and dance with um, young families all over our community every single day. I get to watch these children grow and learn every day. A horse! A horse is a great idea. Let's say, oh. nay, nay, nay. She caters to young developing minds, giving kids the foundation for a lifelong love of music, while also supporting language development, fine and gross motor skills, and socialization. Just like we speak to babies before they're able to talk, we can sing to babies before they're able to make music and really allow them to experience music and be a part of music at a very early age. Claire Arizina is a certified music therapist at Upstate Golisano Children's Hospital and says it's never too early to start exposing your children to music. Start in utero. Even while still in the womb, she says, babies can hear what you're listening to and can benefit from the sounds of music. And you can start singing to your baby as soon as they're born. As they get older, help them learn by introducing different sounds and incorporating all kinds of instruments. When they're shaking an instrument, they're shaking, so they're feeling it in their hand. They're sensing it in their body with the vibration. They're hearing it, and if they're looking at it, they're seeing it. So kind of combining all those senses together in a really rich sensory experience is tremendously helpful. That multi-sensory stimulation goes a long way in helping your children develop. And no one knows that better than Miss Rebecca, who sees the effects of music every day. Sometimes I see first steps in class. I see, um, I hear first words in classes. And um, so it's really special for me to be able to um, have this role in the community where I get to enjoy all these families and watch their children grow. So many smiles, you can't help but watch that and, and not feel your spirit lifted up. At every age, uh, what do children get out of this? Does it work for any age, especially as they're developing? It really does. As infants, simply swaying or rocking to the yeah. music can really be beneficial. And then as they get older, you can help them learn how to hold an instrument, then they can do it on their own, and then they can explore music in a whole new way. Yeah. Just one little anecdotal note. The other night, my little Hudson sure. was a little fussy, having trouble going to sleep, the pacifier wouldn't work, rocking it wouldn't work. I started singing instantaneously he conked yeah, right out isn't amazing yeah and you, and you have a lovely voice <laughs> still ahead on nbc3 news 